We're going to talk about track support and different uh, support packages that our Flash offers our racers and uh, different race teams and what those entail. Um, and so, um, a typical uh, track support package for Lucky Dog. Um, so we'll we'll supply a technician for the car, um, and they're basically available from first thing in the morning till the car is ready to race again the next day. Um, and so hopefully what that means is the they're not actually doing a lot of work on the car. Nothing broke, they didn't, the car didn't get hit or didn't take any damage during the race. Um, so we're not doing that repair work. Ideally what we're doing is um, refueling. So we have a uh, well-trained refueler that knows all the rules for the series and how to refuel the car without um, incurring penalties and more importantly how to do it safely um, and then uh, so we'll handle all the refueling we'll handle um, we'll have a crew chief uh, depending how many teams um, we're supporting we'll have a crew chief often between two different teams um, with staggered pit strategies so there isn't uh, any overlap but crew chiefs you know calling the green flags um, on restarts and the initial start of the race um, and then uh, working with um, when the yellow flags happen and the pit windows for our refueling open up and stuff like that and doing the strategy to figure out what the optimum pit time to pit and refuel and do driver changes is going to be. End of the day um, we'll pull data on the car, um, pull video and first thing we do is go through the data make sure there's no issues nothing to be concerned about once we've finished with that we'll start looking at lap times and uh, it depends what class the car's in if it's an a-class car it's going to be running right on super dog time and if it's not it's not competitive and so then you know if they're if they're off the pace we'll work with the drivers um, to see you know differences between a car that is on pace their car and what they need to do to change that. And it could be that the car just can't do it, or it could be that the drivers are less experienced and are, are um, just working their way up into it. So we can work with those drivers, show them where they're fast on the track, where they're slow on the track, and where they ha can pick up time and improve. Um, and then uh, we'll bleed the brakes and, you know, tidy up the car and get it ready for the next day. Um, and then, so once we're done with all the driver stuff, the finishing touches go on the car and often those are happening at the same time um, and then next morning um, we'll grid the car for the driver because um, we have a single qualifying for it in Lucky Dog um, so we'll grid the car for the driver so all they need to do is walk out to the grid it's warmed up ready to go and they just hop in and start the race and then again the crew chief will call the start and any restarts subsequent restarts that happen um, and then work with the driver on pit strategy so it's uh, probably sounds pretty simple, um, but like a lot of things, devil's in the details. And uh, the hitting the correct uh, pit windows. So there's a certain amount of, we want to minimize pit stops because depending on the track and the configuration, whether we're using the hot pits or the cold pits, we have uh, mandatory two hour pit stops. And so uh, basically your pit window might open at you know, an hour 50 and it closes right at two hours. Um, so if at an hour 45 we get a yellow flag, it doesn't necessarily do us a lot of good to come in right on that yellow. Um, it's, the yellow saves us time in the pits. You know, the relative time that we're taking doing our pit stop versus cars that are on the track is improved in that situation. However, if we pit too early and we miss that pit window, we can't stack all the drives behind it without doing an extra pit stop potentially. And so we have to be really careful about that. So when the pit windows open and when they close and working around the situations on the racetrack to optimize our, our pit time. The, one of the things is, is like uh, at Pacific we had a nine hour on Saturday. So it's not an even uh, split of four two hour drives. You can, you can do it however you want. You can do four two-hour drives and a one-hour drive. You can split it evenly at an hour 40 or whatever it ends up being. Um, but everybody has different strategies and what they think is going to work. So when you have a day like that where you have a little more flexibility in your pit windows where, well, we can pit at an hour 40 if we want. Or we can even, one of the pit stops, we can short it big time and only go out for an hour. Um, and then we just stack our subsequent pits based on that. Um, so that pit window is super flexible until we kind of use that wild card. 
So if we get a situation where there's full course caution, cars are under pace, um, that, and we have a driver that is in a valid pit window, we absolutely want to capitalize on that. So the crew chiefs are watching for all that stuff. They have experience with it. And so they, they know what to look for and um, they work with the drivers and the teams to make sure we can optimize those situations. Um, and you know, we'll help unload the cars, set up the paddocks and vice versa at the end of the weekend, pack up and get everything ready to go home. So it, for a lot of people, they, they might show up with three drivers, you know, one of them is the car owner, or maybe they all own the car, um, but they don't have, they don't have a mechanic. Uh, they probably can do their own refueling. Um, but when you're trying to get drivers in and out of the car with a small team and you don't have set jobs for every person, it can get really chaotic. And that's where the track support is super handy because we have a refueler, we have a fire bottle guy, we, we have all the people to do the jobs. And so that way it just comes down to, we get your guy out of the car, we get your new guy in the car, we, and do all the refueling and do everything safely, and you're in and out as fast as you can be. And then, if uh, there are any issues with the car, we the crew chief can work with the driver to try and help sort out the issue and make the call on, you know, do we need to bring the car in, or do you just drive it a few seconds a lap slower, or what's really going on? Um, so that's where all the details matter and um, you know it can be the difference between maybe getting on the podium and uh, you know not finishing a race so um, it can make a big difference having the right people calling the shots and actually doing the work on the car so anyway that's uh, that's our track support in a nutshell at least for lucky dog racing um, so if uh, if you're interested in track support, I suggest reaching out to us um, via email. You can get a hold of me, uh, Joshua, at arcflashllc.com, or you can call the shop uh, or stop by and uh, chat with one of the guys about it.